Hey guys, Al Tulane here from Party Time DJ Services with yet another active speaker review. And today we'll be looking at something a little bit uh, different, a little bit fun. This is the Total PA Glow uh, by Ion. It's basically an all-in-one Bluetooth speaker with the 15-inch, 1-inch uh, configuration featuring such things as dynamic light show, karaoke echo, echo, echo effects, FM radio, USB. It also includes a microphone and a speaker stand. All this for the price of 200 bucks. Basically, I picked it up at my local Costco a few days ago. Uh, I saw the, the price of 199 I, I did hear it in store. Uh, it was playing the radio, and honestly, I wasn't really impressed by the sound. But I figured for 200 bucks, uh, why not just take it home, try it out? Uh, if you like it, you know, it's 200 bucks. Why not? It's an, an extra speaker. It's not really like I need more speakers, mind you. But uh, I thought for 200 bucks, why not just try it out? At the same time, I can give an honest and unbiased review for all those, uh, you know, folks out there that are maybe looking to buy a little something to play music at camp this summer, uh, maybe looking for something to play music on the deck for their barbecues, or just something for in the garage to blast some tunes or whatnot. So, there we go, maybe something to start uh, DJing with, uh, why not? So I'm going to give you an honest, unbiased review of the Ion Total PA Glow. Uh, I can't really compare it to my other speakers because, to be honest, uh, $200 versus, you know, $1,000, there's obviously going to be some differences. What I can give you is an honest opinion of what it sounds like and if it's worth it to you and to your, for your application. So let's have a quick look at the back of the speaker. I'm just going to turn this around for you. And let's see what we got. So very nice, uh, very nice mixer section. I must admit, uh, this is uh, about as flexible as I've seen. Uh, basically, three channels: first one, first and second one. Uh, basically, mic channels where you have, actually can plug in uh, quarter inch or XLR. You also have a mix out and a light mode. This is convenient for those of you that might think that the lights in the front of the speaker are a little bit tacky or cheesy, which is probably the opinion of most uh, professional DJs out there. But you know, your average Joe that just likes to play music in his garage or whatnot, hey, they're probably going to like that light and say, hey, I can have a karaoke party in my garage, and look, the lights are really included, so there we go. But for those of you that might not like the light, or want to use this as a, maybe as in your DJ system as a ceremony speaker or as a remote speaker, and you don't really want those lights to shine, you can turn off the light, or you can set it, uh, you know, uh, to sync with the beat, or just to go into a, a loop or a color cycle. So it's good to, that Ion included that feature actually. Third channel, which is an aux input, you can have uh, you have dual RCA in, also a quarter inch, uh, sorry, one eighth inch, and another XLR in. Controls, you have uh, you know mic echo, high frequency, low frequency, a master level control, and on top there you've got a USB in, an SD card in, as well as Bluetooth connectivity. Now really. Uh, Ion really gave you a very nice mix mixer section. Uh, you're obviously not going to have any problems connecting the speaker to whatever you want to connect to it. So that's great. A very good mixer section for uh, such an affordable speaker. Let's have a go back to the front. And I can give you my opinion of sound quality in general. Because I did, you know, test it for, I'll say, probably a good hour or two. Different styles of music. Different levels. Played with EQ. Went through my mixer up there. And compared it to other speakers, uh, plug the mic directly into it. I did all, all kinds of tests. So basically, as mentioned, there is a mic included. There it is right there, just a basic uh, microphone with the switch on. Not the best sounding mic, obviously. It's not a sure SM58, but you know the SM58 is pretty much almost the price of the Ion Total PA Glow. So you're not gonna get a top quality mic, but it's okay for karaoke, I guess. You get a power plug, and also look at that. XLR cable. Really, for all that in the speaker, really not a bad uh, price for considering all the features and the inputs. There are also even wheels on the back of the thing and the handle on top, so you can actually wheel it in. It's roughly, I think, around 40 pounds or so. A little bit heavy, but uh, at least the wheels make it manageable. So there you go. Uh, now let's get into the important part. So Al, how does it sound? Well, Obviously, if all I've said so far has been positive about the uh, Ion PA Glow, there's got to be some kind of compromise somewhere, and well, obviously, it's in the sound quality of the unit. Uh, there is a 15-inch woofer, but most people are going to say, hey, where's the bass? <laughs> and if I was my first instinct, even in the store, to turn the bass knob all the way to the, to the end, to the maximum setting, 
even then, most people are probably going to be still saying, hey, where's the base? <laughs> there is some base, it's just definitely not very strong, especially considering the size of the, the speaker. Uh, unfortunately, that is obviously a weak point. Even with the base full in, I connected my mixer to it and added even some more bass. And you, you can get some okay bass out of it, but at that point, uh, your the internal amplifier is going to be limiting pretty quickly. So I suggested this keep the highs just flat as they are, put the bass all the way and just crank it up. Uh, it does get fairly loud. Uh, in the manual it says 110 decibels continuous, 116 decibels peak. That sounds about right to me. Uh, like I said, does it get loud enough? But I, uh, I wouldn't use it as a DJ system personally uh, because of the sound quality and because of the output. Uh, but for most general uh, PA applications, or just you know, like I say, music in your garage, music at a back in your par party in your backyard, or music on the deck, it's probably going to be fine. Uh, like I say, sound quality in a two hundred dollars speaker is always is never going to be terrific. Although the Edison I tested was uh, was noticeably better than this. This is probably on par with the American Audio ELS 15A in terms of sound quality. Like I said, the woofer doesn't seem to go very low. It seems kind of lazy. It doesn't produce too much bass. It does produce some, but just not a whole lot. And the compression driver is obviously a very cheap one. It sounds a little bit raggedy and uh, scratchy. And the highs are not... It, there's not much crisp top end in there. There is some high end, but I'd say it doesn't go up much much above like seven or eight uh, kil kilohertz uh, it just doesn't I don't hear those sweet highs that I hear from my Yamaha's RCS or any other P speaker I own uh, it does have some high frequency but it's more the total sound of the speaker is more mid oriented which lets it get you know loud without using too much amplifier power I think that's the the that was the idea because they say 400 watts I'm pretty sure it's 400 watts peak uh, I did kind of open up the speaker, and uh, the woofer seems decent size. The horn, well, not too bad. But the if you look, if I looked at the amplifier section, and the, the capacitors in there are very, very small. Uh, there's no way these are. This is 400 watts RMS. I'm just gonna leave it at that. It's probably 400 watts peak, maybe a clean 75 to 100 watts RMS, if that uh, basically. But as mentioned, there's a lot of positives. So for a lot of people, this will be great. For a little. Uh, you know, Johnny Jr. or Jimmy Jr. that doesn't know if he wants to become a DJ or not, but just wants to have something that's louder than his uh, parents' home stereo. This is probably a good, uh, great gift to get him started. Uh, you know, if you want music in your garage, as mentioned on the deck, this is probably fine. I didn't love the sound quality, but for this price, uh, you gotta accept some compromise. Overall, the value I think is very good. Just don't expect professional sounding results. Uh, as you would from a more expensive speaker. I think that most people will understand that, and uh, that's the one. That's the one. You know, really, downfall of this speaker is the actual sound quality. It does get fairly loud. It's just that the loudest is not very nice, <laughs> as it's not a terrific sounding speaker. But I'm very. I'm a little bit more fussy than most people are probably because I'm a little bit spoiled by you know these uh, these beautiful RCF Yamaha and uh, Yorkville cabinets. But for the average person that's not a sound guy that just wants music this will probably be fine uh as mentioned you it's it doesn't go all that low the highs aren't all that crisp but it does get fairly loud you can plug a mic and there's a whole lot of stuff included in it so basically if you don't want to invest too much and you're not sure if you want to start uh dj service or not you just want something to blast some tunes this is probably a great this is definitely a great deal uh i i would recommend buying it from Costco just because they have a one-year warranty uh, if you buy it from anywhere else I noticed in the manual ION gives a 90-day warranty which is very very poor in my opinion 90 days uh, is not very uh, good warranty for uh, such a big speaker but I guess you have to consider the price the the price point and uh, it is what it is so basically that's it for the that's an honest opinion of the ION total PA glow if you have any any questions at all feel free to to post them and I'll uh, do my best to answer them. But this has been an honest review from of the Ion Total PA Glow all-in-one Bluetooth speaker. This has been Al Pulai from Party Time DJ Services. Have yourselves a great day.